Good evening everybody, it is the evening, it is Tuesday the 9th of June today, it's up by the canal again as you can see, I've come to a stretch this evening um, where I haven't been before, um, I haven't even set eyes on the place until, until just, decided to come to somewhere a little bit different um, because this is probably going to be my last canal session with the beginning of the river season only a week away, that's my true love, that's where my heart lies. So I think this will probably be my last canal session before the river season starts, as I'm very, very busy. What I've done is, this is Grand Union. I've had a walk up here, stretch a reasonable distance, about half an hour from home, um, and had a walk up here, various bends. It's a very nice looking bit of canal. And uh, come to this stretch, some reeds on the other side. If I spin you around, you'll see. And the uh, reason I've stopped here is, Firstly, the towpath's wide enough for people to get room round behind me, although um, it's fairly overgrown, so I'm not sure it gets too much footfall. And the second reason, I've seen a little bit of dimpling in here, and that's pretty much all I've got to go on. I've had a look at three or four different stretches of this canal uh, around here, and uh, it's the only place I've seen anything resembling uh, that could be a fish. Um, so it's a bit of suck it and see, really. Um, I'm travelling light again. I've got one rod. I've got my... Uh, pull it out... <laughs> I've got my Rovex John Wilson Avon Quiver with my trusty centre pin on. The canal's not moving at all, so that bodes well for presentation. Um, I'm going to fish a lift method if possible. I'm going to be using the Drennan uh, glow light antenna floats that you've seen before. And really, I'm going to I'm going to suck it and see. I'm going to fish perhaps for an hour here, something like that. And if nothing happens, then I'll have a move, um, you know, perhaps just around this corner and we'll we'll just see if we can find some fish, really. I've got absolutely nothing to go on at all. So um, it's going to be a bit of a voyage of discovery. Right, I think that's enough talking. I'm going to get my, uh, actually, <laughs> say that now, I've just seen a fish move maybe 10 or 15 metres up that way. So I'm going to go and have a look up there, but, uh, and then I'm going to get set up, get a little bit of ground bait mixed up and uh, get it in the drink and we'll see how we can do. Well, to be honest, even if we don't catch anything, this is an absolutely wonderful place to be on a wonderful evening. But fingers crossed we do. Um, should run you through a few things. As I mentioned, fishing the lift method. Just got cast in. Uh, ground it this evening. I've gone for a mix there this evening of uh, Census Gross Gardons. It's about two thirds that and one third uh, just uh, white crumb and into that I've mixed probably a couple of tablespoons into that amount of ground bait of aniseed aniseed powder so I'm thinking there may be some nice roach around no particular targets this evening um, to be honest you know new stretch we have to catch some fish <laughs> but you know usual suspects I guess roach bream high bridge some perch uh, who knows happy to catch anything to be honest um, baits I've got with me I've got some maggots um, I've got some sweet corn and I've got some bread we keep it fairly simple uh, from that point of view and uh, I'm just looking over here at my float this canal is just starting to tow <laughs> unfortunately which is dragging my float under. This could make things a bit tricky. I may have to put a heavier float on. Uh, by heavier, I mean slightly more buoyant uh, because these uh, glow tip antennas are very, very sensitive. And uh, as soon as the, the slack's taken out of my line by the slight drawer on the canal, under it goes. So uh, we'll see anyway. We'll see if it stops, but it's uh, it's pushing through again at the moment. Looks like perhaps someone has opened a lock. 
we'll see how we get on anyway it'd be nice to fish sensitively but uh you know if we can't we can't We're in. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. There we are. No monster, but always a relief to catch a fish from a new stretch. Fantastic. Bodes well as well. Uh, only fishing maybe 10 minutes. Here we are guys, is another one? Great fun, really enjoying this, superb. <laughs> Well, guys, <laughs> now, tempting as it is to take him home, I put him in a pot. I don't fancy getting in them pincers, to be honest with you. So, guys, as you can probably see, I've moved. I've had a little move. About 150 meters up the bank something like that up the towpath i should say uh there's nothing going on down there at all uh, i've had a bite for sort of an hour it's been about an hour since i had that bream and um, the only thing i've had is is crayfish 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 um fortunately i'm fishing a lift method so i can tell that they're just pulling the bait along the bottom and the, the shot that's on the bottom is just trundling along the bottom the float is just literally trundling along the canal um so i can tell it's crayfish uh, so I thought I'd have a bit of a move as there doesn't seem to be any fish around either. And I did earlier on, maybe again about an hour ago, I saw a couple of fish splash up here. So it was the obvious place to move up to. It's a much narrower part of the canal as you can see and there's some reeds on the other side in the water. So uh, it looks a good spot. So um no fish, do it perhaps an hour here. I'm not sure what time it is. It's uh, certainly getting dark now. That's uh, 10 to 10, so we'll give it an hour, I think. Uh, fish till maybe 
10.45, something like that. Just see how we get on. Um, but we'll give it an hour here and uh, see if we can't get something going. <laughs> Daddy long legs. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Well, guys, there we go. Just a few minutes in the new spot. Fish straight away. <laughs> Always the best policy if you're not catching. Get on your toes. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> well guys <laughs> well guys <clears throat> these things have followed me up the canal I've been absolutely plagued by them <laughs> absolute nightmare I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then call it a day you are a very cheeky monkey <sighs> so guys that's it. I'm going to leave whilst I've got a little bit of my sanity left. These crayfish have been driving me up the wall. Absolutely driving me up the wall. My float has been moving all over the canal. They've literally been taking my bait on the drop. I can't get the bait in the water long enough for a fish to even find it. So <laughs> I'm going to give best and I'm going to go home. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I think this will be my last trip uh, before I get down the river. Maybe I'll just sneak a trip in in the next week, but uh, it's looking very busy at the moment, uh, home life and work, etc. So I don't think I'm going to manage it. Uh, but if I do, clearly you'll be the first to know. So all I was left to do is to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a good time despite the crayfish. <laughs> Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling. And I'll see you again very soon.